Hey, what's up, y'all? This is the couch. Uh, I'm sorry if my camera's kind of blurring. I'm gonna put the uh, put this girl on repair because she's been acting real loose. So if you notice in between, it's starting to blur up a little bit. It's because my camera's acting real low budget. Also, uh, we got a new colloquial put colloquialism coming up called um, "boo possible." So that means when you see somebody's kind of cute, you say, mm, "You know, he's kind of boo possible." So mm. that's the new word. So y'all can bring that, take that back. Mm -hmm. to the 2010. 2010. 2010. I like that. Also, on, now I want to actually introduce all the couch members. I'm Egypt Thompson. I'm Gary Stafford. They call me Mr. Texas. And DiMaggio. Yes, and we actually want to talk about our Valentine's, uh, like, wish. Do you guys got a boo interested in something to do for Valentine's Day or got somebody? Anybody? Hmm. I'm new to the city. Um, been here about two weeks. My name is DiMaggio, like I said. I had a new boo in mind, but you know, see what's going on. That's what's up. What about you? I actually have a um, boo potential. Um, he is boo acting, potential. He is acting <laughs> right. Uh, and um, I hope that he will be my Valentine. So like, what about you, Mr. Mm. Mm, you know what that goes? No, I no. do. Okay. I do. I have a boo potential as well. How you gonna steal my? Well, I'm not stealing shit. Talk I mean, you know, don't go there. But no, you know, I have someone, you know, feeling. And um, hopefully, you know, I don't know what we're going to have planned for Valentine's, but uh, hopefully I'll be in Arizona and we really can do it. Mm. That's what's up. Well, I actually was talking about to you guys before that we're going to do a vision board party where we're going to put together all the things we kind of want in our life. And this time it's going to be a Valentine's edition, so we're going to specialize in proving that love in your life. Not only relationships, but love from your family and friends and how to be a better friend and stuff like that. Now, speaking of friendship and, you know, because it's a new year, did you feel like this year was a year of cleansing? Did you guys get rid of the friends that kind of fell by the wayside and not good for you? Are you guys making new New friends, like what did you? What was your thing? Are you cleansing or? I feel like I got rid of a lot of people that I thought were friends. Okay. Um, and I learned a lot of things through that, but I actually built my friendships that were already established. I made those more hardcore. I spent a lot of time with the people that I know love me, mm -hmm. and um, I love them back, and I appreciate my friends. What's up? What about you, Gary? Was this a year of cleansing? Or? It was a year of cleansing. I mean, you know. Uh, Really don't have too many friends, okay. but the friends that I have, uh -huh. you know, that it's like good. that that you know that that backbone, you know, those type of friends, you know. But I mean, you know, I have to let some people go, but majority of them, kept them. That's what's I, I I renewed the friendship. That's uh, right. Two thousand. Almost like that friendship contract. Right. Yes. <laughs> now, honestly, for me, I had to work on this year. Your forgiveness. So I gave forgave a couple people because you know. I can be hard sometimes. I'm not as I'm sometimes very stubborn, and then you know I you know I feel like if God can forgive He's me, He's a Gemini. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. but I, I work off with <laughs> a lot of people, and I'm willing. Also, especially uh, Sneak Peek, we may have to bond back on the couch. So y'all write in, and let me know if y'all would like to have the bond back on the couch. What about you, Mister? Um, I mean, I've actually been blessed this year. It's a whole new year for me. Um, I met a new friend, and um, I was blessed not to. Let go of none of my old friends. They're still there. Okay. It's a blessing. I'm thankful for that. Do you like Cali now that you're here? Uh, it's cool. It's cool. It's different. Yes. So, okay. I'm kind of getting the feel of it, but it's mm -hmm. cool. Like yeah. It. Also, Texas. Well, are y'all willing to bring? Can I do the couch in Texas? Are y'all willing That's to walk me? Because yeah. I've never been. You know, you have a few Texas friends. Definitely. That's what's up. So who who, who likes me in Texas so I can say hi? Well, to I have you. a friend that has a crush on you, but I told him he. That's all good, but I don't mind my crushes. Let's keep the ratings up. That's it. What's his name? Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not. No. <laughs> well, anyway, from Texas, I gotta get my hair cut next week, so I'm not gonna put put okay. my well, like that. People in the barber shop, I love you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> this is Egypt Thompson. Thank you so much. Subscribe. Let me know you're watching it. And uh, again, we'll have some uh, some more Texas edition. And then also, if you want to represent your city, come and check me out. We're getting the house prepared now for Valentine's Day. I want to introduce my cast again. We have Gary Stafford, Mr. Texas, Egypt Thompson, and Dimaggio. And this is the couch. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Peace.